1. What is the main function of xylem in a tree? A. To transport sugars. B. To transport water and minerals. C. To produce energy. D. To store carbohydrates. 2. Which part of the tree is primarily responsible for photosynthesis? A. Roots. B. Leaves. C. Cambium. D. Bark. 3. What is the role of phloem tissue? A. To transport water. B. To transport nutrients and sugars. C. To store starch. D. To produce new cells. 4. Which term describes the layer of actively dividing cells between xylem and phloem? A. Heartwood. B. Cambium. C. Cortex. D. Pith. 5. What is the primary function of tree roots? A. Photosynthesis. B. Water and nutrient absorption. C. Oxygen production. D. Leaf formation. 6. What type of tissue forms the protective outer covering of a tree? A. Phloem. B. Cambium. C. Bark. D. Sapwood. 7. Which of the following best describes transpiration in trees? A. The transport of sugars through phloem. B. The loss of water vapor from leaves. C. The formation of new roots. D. The process of seed germination. 8. What is the primary function of chlorophyll in leaves? A. Reflecting sunlight. B. Absorbing carbon dioxide. C. Capturing light energy for photosynthesis. D. Transporting water. 9. What structure anchors a tree and stores food reserves? A. Trunk. B. Branches. C. Roots. D. Leaves. 10. Which component of a tree provides structural support and is composed of dead xylem cells? A. Sapwood. B. Heartwood. C. Cambium. D. Bark. 11. What is the function of lenticels on tree bark? A. Gas exchange. B. Nutrient absorption. C. Leaf attachment. D. Water transport. 12. Which part of the tree produces new growth in diameter each year? A. Roots. B. Phloem. C. Cambium. D. Leaves. 13. What is the role of stomata in tree leaves? A. Water transport. B. Gas exchange. C. Photosynthesis. D. Energy storage. 14. Which carbohydrate is produced during photosynthesis and transported in the phloem? A. Glucose. B. Starch. C. Cellulose. D. Lignin. 15. What is the term for the annual rings in tree trunks? A. Cambium layers. B. Growth rings. C. Phloem layers. 
D. Root nodes. 16. What is the primary function of the apical meristem? A. Lateral growth. B. Vertical growth. C. Seed production. D. Bark protection. 17. Which part of the root absorbs most of the water and nutrients? A. Root cap. B. Root hairs. C. Taproot. D. Cambium. 18. Which plant hormone is responsible for cell elongation in trees? A. Cytokinin. B. Gibberellin. C. Auxin. D. Abscisic acid. 19. What is the main component of the cell walls in tree wood? A. Cellulose. B. Protein. C. Starch. D. Sugar. 20. What is the function of ray cells in wood? A. Transport nutrients laterally. B. Produce leaves. C. Store chlorophyll. D. Form bark layers. 21. Which process converts light energy into chemical energy in trees? A. Respiration. B. Transpiration. C. Photosynthesis. D. Oxidation. 22. What type of root system is common in coniferous trees? A. Fibrous root system. B. Taproot system. C. Adventitious roots. D. Aerial roots. 23. What is the function of heartwood in a tree? A. Active water transport. B. Storage of nutrients. C. Structural support. D. Food production. 24. What is the main purpose of pruning trees? A. Improve photosynthesis. B. Control pests. C. Improve structure and health. D. Increase root growth. 25. Which nutrient is essential for chlorophyll production? A. Nitrogen. B. Phosphorus. C. Potassium. D. Calcium. 26. Which layer of a tree bark actively produces new bark cells? A. Cambium. B. Phloem. C. Periderm. D. Cortex. 27. What is the role of lignin in wood? A. Softening fibers. B. Strengthening cell walls. C. Producing chlorophyll. D. Water transport. 28. What is the function of root cap cells? A. Protect root tips during growth. B. Conduct photosynthesis. C. Store sugars. D. Produce flowers. 29. What is the significance of mycorrhizal fungi for tree roots? A. Produce flowers. B. Aid in nutrient and water absorption. C. Increase bark thickness. D. Reduce transpiration. 30. What is the term for a tree that sheds leaves annually? A. Evergreen. B. Coniferous. 
C. Deciduous. D. Perennial. 31. Which gas is released during photosynthesis? A. Carbon dioxide. B. Oxygen. C. Nitrogen. D. Hydrogen. 32. What process do tree cells use to break down glucose for energy? A. Respiration. B. Photosynthesis. C. Transpiration. D. Combustion. 33. Which pigment gives leaves their green color? A. Carotenoids. B. Chlorophyll. C. Anthocyanins. D. Xanthophyll. 34. Which tree structure stores energy in the form of starch? A. Phloem. B. Cambium. C. Roots. D. Bark. 35. What is the main function of the tree trunk? A. Anchor the tree. B. Store energy. C. Support and transport materials. D. Produce seeds. 36. What does the term girdling mean in tree care? A. Removing a tree. B. Cutting roots. C. Removing bark around the trunk. D. Pruning branches. 37. Which environmental factor is crucial for photosynthesis? A. Nitrogen. B. Light. C. Magnesium. D. Oxygen. 38. What is the purpose of leaf veins? A. To support leaf structure and transport water and nutrients. B. To produce bark. C. To prevent transpiration. D. To store sunlight. 39. Which part of the tree contains dormant buds for new growth? A. Roots. B. Cambium. C. Branches. D. Leaves. 40. Which element is a major component of plant cell walls besides cellulose? A. Calcium. B. Magnesium. C. Lignin. D. Potassium. 41. What is the function of the endodermis in roots? A. Regulate water flow into xylem. B. Store energy. C. Produce flowers. D. Create bark layers. 42. What adaptation helps conifer needles minimize water loss? A. Broad surface area. B. Waxy coating and small surface area. C. Large stomata. D. Thin cuticle. 43. Which sugar is most commonly transported by phloem? A. Glucose. B. Sucrose. C. Lactose. D. Maltose. 44. What is the role of cambial initials in tree growth? A. Increase trunk diameter. B. Produce leaves. C. Support seed production. D. Aid in photosynthesis. 45. What is the process of water movement through a tree from roots to leaves? A. Capillary action. B. Transpiration stream. C. Respiration. D. Photosynthetic flow. 
46. Which part of a tree develops from the shoot apical meristem? A. Roots. B. Leaves and stems. C. Cambium. D. Bark. 47. What role does potassium play in tree health? A. Promotes root growth. B. Regulates stomata and water balance. C. Builds proteins. D. Strengthens cell walls. 48. What type of cells make up most of the phloem tissue? A. Sieve tube elements. B. Vessel elements. C. Parenchyma cells. D. Tracheids. 49. What is the term for the outer dead layers of bark? A. Periderm. B. Cork. C. Sapwood. D. Heartwood. 50. Which season typically triggers dormancy in deciduous trees? A. Spring. B. Summer. C. Autumn. D. Winter. Arborist Tree Biology Test. The Arborist Tree Biology Test evaluates a professional's knowledge of the biological processes and characteristics of trees. It focuses on understanding tree anatomy, physiology, and growth patterns, as well as how trees interact with their environment. The test covers topics such as photosynthesis, respiration, and nutrient uptake, helping arborists understand the fundamental functions that sustain tree health. It also examines tree reproduction, including seed dispersal and germination, and the structural aspects that contribute to tree stability and longevity. Furthermore, the test addresses the impact of environmental factors, diseases, and pests on tree health. Arborists must demonstrate a deep understanding of how trees grow, develop, and adapt to changing conditions, allowing them to make informed decisions on tree care, maintenance, and conservation. Here are the top five beneficial uses of the Arborist Tree Biology Test. 1. Understanding Tree Growth this test ensures that arborists have a deep understanding of tree biology, including how trees grow, develop, and respond to environmental conditions. This knowledge is critical for making informed decisions about tree care, health, and maintenance. 2. Proper Tree Care and Maintenance by understanding the biological needs of trees, arborists can implement more effective care routines, such as pruning, fertilization, and disease management. This helps in prolonging tree life and ensuring optimal health. 3. Pest and Disease Management The test provides arborists with the tools to identify biological stress factors, including pests and diseases. This knowledge enables them to take preventative measures and address problems early, reducing damage to trees and enhancing overall landscape health. 4. Sustainable Practices Arborists trained in tree biology are better equipped to implement sustainable practices. They can make recommendations that support tree preservation and environmental health, contributing to green space conservation and biodiversity. 5. Professional Expertise A solid understanding of tree biology boosts an arborist's credibility and expertise. It demonstrates their ability to assess tree conditions accurately, offer expert advice, and provide high-quality services to clients seeking tree care solutions.